welcome back to the channel guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a product animation inside of davinci resolve so i saw this little animation on pinterest and i was actually inspired by that post so i'm going to show you how you can create this inside davinci resolve Now, some of you might have already guessed this. Yes, we are going to use the 3D camera to create this animation. So here I have some assets over here. So this is the main product uh, for our animation. There's an uh, orange juice bottle. And then we have some other assets such as oranges and uh, leaf PNG images. So load up all of your assets and then go to the Fusion page where we will create this animation. Now for the layout, you can go to workspace and click on layout preset, fusion presets. I'm using the mid flow, so you can click on mid flow and use that preset. Then I'm just going to just slightly drag it to the left. So I have more room in the nodes viewer over here. Then start off by dragging in your images. So I'm going to start off with any image. So let's just use this one. Let's also view this. So as you can see, this image is quite big and uh, this is the resolution over here. Uh, so I'm just going to scale it down and uh, we don't want this uh, big image as it will be a bit problematic when we are previewing this with the 3D camera. So to have a smoother playback, we can just uh, resize this down to uh, something like 600 by 600. And then you also click on keep frame aspect. All right. So that it doesn't squash our image. Uh, and then after this, we can add in a image plane 3D and uh, if we take a look at it, this will turn our 2D image and take it into a 3D scene over here. I'm using the Alt key to rotate around and uh, using the middle mouse button. Let's just drag in second image over here and view this. And again, we're going to apply the same resize node to this. Take a look at it and then copy and paste the image plane on this. Then do the same thing with this image over here of a flower. Uh, for this, we don't actually need the resize node as it's already a uh, low resolution or smaller resolution then uh, i'm just going to copy this image plane and paste it down below and just keep repeating the process for other assets we have over here all right so finally i can connect the bottle we have over here the, um, the main product and i can copy and paste the same resize node and this is how it's going to look and then i'm going to copy and paste the image plane 3d on this and also there is a slight um, issue with the png image over here there is some white spot over here so i can easily fix this by adding in a rectangle mask and then i can just uh, click on invert and just put it to the left side so that we mask out that area so uh, after you do that, after you have uh, added all of these uh, image plane 3D nodes, then what we are going to do is we're going to merge all of these images together using the merge node. So if I go to the top over here, we have this merge 3D, just drag that down below. And you can just start uh, connecting all of these image plane 3D to your merge. And once you connect it, then you can also add a camera 3D. So I'm going to click on this Merge 3D. Then I'm going to click on this icon that says Camera 3D. And that will add a camera 3D to your node view. Um, that will help us to create this 3D animation. So I'm going to uh, click on Media Pool to uh, hide the media panel over here. After the Merge 3D, we are going to turn this all of this 3D environment if you take a look at it, this is how it's going to look. Got messed up. We're going to fix that in a moment. After this most 3D, we're going to add in a render 3D so that we turn this 3D uh, viewport back into 2D environment. And then we're going to connect this render 3D with the media out. So now what we can do is if we take a look at media merge 3D over here, uh, this is what we have. Uh, we have our camera in there as well. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to just rotate a little bit and I'm going to change the go to image plane 3d of my first uh, image over here you can also right click with show and show tile picture let's go to image plane 3d and you can just you know actually i'm going to go to merge 3d that's it will be very easy if you just uh, use merge 3d over here i'm going to select image plane 3d and just push it back in the z space and select the second image plane 3d push it back in the z space 
and you know keep on repeating this process for all of these images the more uh, distance there is between these images the more parallax effect there will be in your animation so just keep on repeating this so we have uh, them in different z positions and now if you take a look at the render 3d we still don't see anything and that is because our camera is in front it's not looking at all of these images cool now what we can do is we can create a simple camera animation i'm going to go to the very first frame you can also check that if you uh, you have zero over here that means you're at the very first frame i'm going to go to my camera 3d transform and then i'm going to right click click on animate translate group and then go to frame 100 or any other frame that you prefer and then just push your camera or pull your camera back in the z space something like that and uh, now if you go to your render 3d you will be able to see all of these uh, images so you can either go back to your camera 3d in the z position over here you can just push it back uh, quite a bit maybe somewhere over here you can also go to spline and select all of these uh, keyframes i'm going to click on uh, this icon that says select all and then i'm going to click on this icon that says smooth to smooth out the graph so you'll have an animation i will look something like this you can also help the playback by uh, disabling the high quality and motion blur and that should help with the playback and you can also create a rotation animation on camera 3d so at the very first frame create a keyframe and set the z value to something like negative 50 and then go to frame 100 and set it back to zero right again we'll have a smooth animation for it so i'm going to select just the uh, rotation z rotation over here i'm going to select all and click on this icon to smooth out the graph all right so we have an animation and now as you can see all of our elements are at a uh, the same position i want it to spread around the bottle over here or, or, or our product over here so i'm going to go to image plane 3d and now i can just move the these png images around so i'm actually going to start with this image over here as this is in the front i'm going to go to transform and change the scale on this so that we have a smaller image of it and then change the position so something like that and if you are here uh, in the image plane 3d you can also create a different rotation keyframe or animation on the z over here repeat this process for other image plane 3d over here as well so go to transform uh, change the position change the scale amount uh, play around with the different position values over here change the rotation as well and you know come up with a different look on all of these elements so i'm going to move this leaf over here reduce the scale and change the position and you know keep on repeating the process with all of these image plane 3d we have over here all right so once you are satisfied with that then what you can do is uh, you can just take a look at this animation just play it and see if everything is looking great i think that looks pretty amazing and you can go ahead in image plane 3d and create a keyframe on rotation z and that will you know improve your overall animation uh, but once you are done then i'm actually going to go to render 3d and add in a background real quick let's take a look at this uh, so if you view this merge you will see black and background over here that's because our background is at top i'm going to right click on and click on swap inputs and then from the background node over here, I'm going to use the color picker tool and pick an orange color from the image itself. And we have um, a different color over here. Now we have an option to enable depth of field effect. If you go to render 3D and enable um, OpenGL renderer and under accumulation effects, we can enable depth of field. But as you can see that when we do so, uh, we have some elements which will be in the focus and some elements which will be out of focus and that is giving that is what uh, depth of field does so wherever your focal point is uh, that area will be in focus um, so what we can do is uh, if i go to camera 3d go to controls and i can go to control visibility and enable focal plane 
and let's take a look at this moist 3d and you can see that uh, our focal plane is this yellow box so if i change the focal plane and of course we want to focus on our product over here so i'm going to rotate around and change the focal plane and make sure it uh, is on this product uh, so let's now take a look at our media out and you can see that our product is in focus and that's exactly what we want but our background elements are out of focus so if we play the animation you will have a animation like this we have this weird blur and that's because we can we have this uh, if we go to render 3d we have our accumulation effects the amount of depth of field blur we want this value to be really small so 0 0.005 should work or you can you know increase it to a uh, some other value but yeah once you play the animation we have this uh, nice depth of field effect but as you can see um, some elements are blurred some are in focus and uh, that's not what you want we want all of our elements including the product the main product in focus so um, to do that what we can do is uh, let's actually um, uh, turn off the depth of field and uh, the accumulation effect and now what we can do is we can uh, manually apply a, a Gaussian blur effect on all of these images. So after this resize, I'm going to add in a Gaussian blur. Click on add uh, and I'm going to go to frame 100. Uh, create a keyframe on strength. Set this to zero. If we take a look at this Gaussian blur, which this is what we have. So at strength, uh, this was before, you know, at uh, strength 0.400. Uh, so we create a keyframe, set it to zero at frame 100. And I'm going to go back to maybe frame 30 and set this uh, back to that value, which is 0 0.4, or you can just increase that if you want. I'm going to copy this node and I'm going to paste it as an instance. So I'm going to hold this. I'm going to click on this resize node and then press Control Shift V on the keyboard to paste an instance. Do the same thing with this media as well. So I'm clicking on this node and I hit Control Shift V on your keyboard to paste it as an instance. And what that will allow you to do is if you want to make changes, uh, you can make a change on this single node and it will be applied on, on all of these uh, other nodes over here. All right. So um, now if we take a look at it, we should have an animation like this. So it will be out of focus and then slowly it will come in focus. Right, so you can of course play around with the blur values, but that is essentially it. If you go to spline and select the strength as well, I'm going to select these two keyframes. I select all, hit S to smooth that out, and it should have a animation that should match with the camera movement. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it. You can add some wiggle effect to these elements uh, if you want to do so. So after this uh, image plane 3D, uh, let's. I'm actually going to select a different image for this. All right, so let's uh, focus on this flower over here. So after this image plane 3D, I can add in a transform 3D, click on add. And on this transform 3D, I can uh, create an expression on X, link it with Y, create an expression on Y and link it with the Z value. And on the Z, I'm going to right click, click on modify Oh, sorry uh, we have to click on modify with shake and then at the top you should see modifiers and uh, you can if you play this animation it will be quite crazy so you can see that what it is doing it's gonna wiggle create this wiggle animation uh, so what you can do is you can change the maximum and the minimum sliders to have a smoother wiggle animation so something like that you can control the smoothness and you can control other settings as well so i think uh, that looks pretty good you can play around with different settings and then you can copy and paste this uh, transform 3d on other uh, image plane 3d we have over here and all you have to do is then go to modifiers and click on reseed to have a completely different animation all right so you can apply this on all of your elements and have a wiggle animation on them but yeah that is pretty much it that's how you can create this uh, little product animation inside of davinci resolve let's take a look at it one more time so it comes in and 
you have this rotation and this wiggle animation on these elements that's how you can create this animation thank you so much for watching this video if this video is helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one